Good evening, Theodore. Good evening, Coach. Uh, how y'all doing today? Hey, we're doing good. We just got done with our first day of school, so first, we're ready to roll. First day of school here in Mobile County. So, Coach, for those that's watching this media day today uh, that may not know who you are, tell us a little bit about yourself, and then tell us what should we be expecting okay. this upcoming season. Um, well, my name's Hannah Morris. I'm not originally from Mobile County. Um, I'm from a small town in North Alabama called Athens. I went to Athens High School and played volleyball out there. Um, I've been down here for the past five years. I went to University of Mobile for the first two years, and I played for two years there. And then my last two years, I was student assistant, and then I started coaching club. And so that's kind of where I started to fall in love with coaching and fall in love with Mobile. And so I was like, hey, I'm going to move down. And so I moved down. I put in my application for Mobile County. I got an interview at Theodore. I drove on campus out there, and I was like, hey, this is where I want to be. This is the community I want to be in. Um, and so I took the job and I started assistant coaching last year with the girls for volleyball. And so I was like, this is, this is where I want to be. So as soon as I heard that the head coaching position was opening up, I was like, I was like, let me put my application in. I'm so, I'm so ready to go. Um, expect, oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. you should expect us to be really competitive this year. I think the past few years, I know we've had a different coach every single year. We haven't been known to be that top competitor coming in the gym. So I've really tried to instill it in the girls, like, hey, that win, we won. We've been on our play dates. I was like, we won, but we didn't win by enough. Like, we're, we're not competing enough. Like, you guys have to want to drive, like, to go harder, to go harder every single game. So I think they expect us to come out being extremely competitive. What position did you play in college? So I was D.S. Libero. I'm not, I don't have a good vertical. <laughs> I don't have a good vertical at all. But, you know, being low to the ground, I think I – I think I do okay. I got my heels on today, so. I got you. I got you. So, so this season, have you guys already? Have you uh, played any play dates? Uh, traveled any to get ready for this upcoming season? So we started workouts in June. We came in the gym. We came in ready to go. We went four days a week in June, and then July we came in doing three hours a day. Um, so we've we've come in. We did. We've done two play dates. We did a play date. We hosted a play date at our school with um, Satsuma, MGM, Blunt, and Murphy. We had all of them come out, we played them, um, and then we had a play day at Blunt. And so we played a few teams over there. So we've, we've been in the gym since June. We've been coming in, we've been ready, getting ready to go. Now, uh, like uh, earlier today, uh, throughout the day today, you know, coaches during the play day said that, you know, they really weren't worrying about the win. Uh, you know, they were trying to see where they were at and seeing things that they need to fix. Planning play dates like that and seeing teams you may wind up seeing in the regular season or maybe even in the playoffs, uh, how does that help uh, you and your young ladies? So I think coming in, we don't have a lot of confidence. We haven't had a lot of confidence these past few years. You know, if we lost, it would just, especially what I, from what I saw last year, it was just like, okay, you know, if we lost, it's okay. That's what we expected to happen. So for us to come in play dates and play teams that we're going to play in our area and to actually be able to compete and beat them in – the play dates, even though it's going to be more competitive because we're going to get better, they're going to get better by the time we play those area games, you know, it just gives our girls confidence and it gives them like, the, they were so fired up after our first day, our first play day at home. They were like, hey, y'all, like we can actually do this. And I think that was so, that was so big for them to have the realization that I already knew that they could do it. They just needed to know that they could do it. Everybody came in the gym so nervous that morning. And I was like, y'all calm down. <laughs> it's going to be okay. Like, we'll do all right. Whatever we whatever we prepared. And we came out, and the girls, they were ready to play. And I think that was so huge for our play dates. Now, for, for, now you got any returning seniors, uh, any veterans returning? We have – so we lost five seniors last year. We have, I think, five seniors, which two of them are new. Um, but, yeah, we have, like, three returning seniors this year. So okay, so you pretty much got a fairly young young yeah, team. Yeah, we have a we have a fairly young team. We got some juniors, but I feel like we're fairly we're fairly young. So now, I know you you, you haven't been in Theodore that long. What 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 do you think? What do you look uh, into a player to see if they're going to be a good volleyball player for you, and they can you think they could make your squad? So what I really look for, especially at tryouts and stuff, is I look for attitude. Like mistakes are going to happen at any level of volleyball. Absolutely, mistakes are going to happen any time. But I look for how you handle that mistake. I look for how you look at the next play. Like I want this ball to come to me so I can make it better. I want I miss that serve. Next time I serve, it's going to be an ace. 
you know, I look for the girls that are going to push themselves to do better. Like, hey, I just got that point, but it was like one of my girls can hit it in front of the 10-foot line. She'll get a kill. I'd be like, hey, you could have gotten that. In front. You know, like you could have gotten that better. So I look for girls that are going to push themselves on their own. Hey, I want to do better. Like, I want that next play to be better. So even if their skill set, which we don't have a lot of experience with club at Theodore, like a lot of our girls don't play club. So I look for the girls who are going to be coachable and who are going to come out there and give me 100% effort every, every single day. And so that's what I definitely look for. What's your, you got a favorite TV show? I watch Stranger Things. I know that's so mainstream, um, but I, I just love that show. I can't get enough. I actually know the kids been saying Grey's Anatomy today. I don't know why, but. I just feel like, I just feel like it's so long and I, you know, it's, just shows like that are just so dramatic to me. I can't do it. <laughs> I'm a high school teacher. I get enough drama throughout the day. Oh, I'll go man. home and watch my Stranger Things. <laughs> oh man, yeah. I, I, I didn't. I wasn't sure about it. And then when I started watching it, and I'm like, okay, this is pretty good. I went ahead and binged mm -hmm. the whole thing, but it was pretty good. It's a good one. So who did you bring here with you today? So on my left, I've got Kyra Little. She's our junior. She's our libero. Um, so she's one of those girls that comes in the gym every time we have a workout. She's giving me 100% effort in our workout. She's She's giving me everything she's got. If she makes a bad pass, I think something clicked when I came in. I was like, hey, you got to work on your platform angles. And so now every time that she shanks the ball, she's like, okay, coach, like I know what angle I missed. Like, I'm going to get it next ball. And she tries every single ball. And she's she's one of those kids that on the court is giving me 100% effort all the time. What? And then on my right, I got Madison Ivy. So she's actually an Zoe Troll maid. She's got a really impressive resume. Um, but volleyball-wise, she – Came in this year. She was the right side last year. I was like, we need a setter, Maddie. I was like, I'm going to throw you in there. I was like, we're just going to see how it goes. If you don't like it, if I don't like it, we'll change something. <laughs> well, she has overcome that obstacle completely. Like, she's not setting the same as a five-year returner, but she has come out. She's done a great job. She's been super consistent for our team. She continuously pushes our other girls, like, especially during workouts. Like, hey, guys, we got to go, like, you can do this. Like, we got this. Let's finish strong. And I think that's so important. She's one of our seniors. Like, it's so important for our girls to see that, to have that can-do attitude right. and push each other. So. You know, there was another day of trail made in here from one of the other schools, too. <laughs> all like, okay. I've seen the today. <laughs> uh, but that's, that's great. Well, Coach, let's bring him up here. Who want to go first? Who wants to go first? you want to go first? <laughs> 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 I mean, it doesn't matter to me. All right, all right. The libero. Uh, defensive specialist. So, right off the bat, I'm gonna ask, what does it take to be that, to play in that position? I just say, I would say, tough skin. You can't be scared to hit the floor. You have to think about your other teammates. You have to be very observant, making sure you know where your setter is, making sure you know who other teammates are, so you don't make a collision. But for most, most importantly, tough skin. Tough skin. That was I, I learned that today too. So what are some of the, the personal goals you have for this season as well as, you know, some team goals? Personal goals? Um, I want to be able by the end of this season to try to clear the net. <laughs> um, working on my back row attack is very important to me because it's been rocky for a little while. <laughs> and then team goals, to be competitive, to communicate very well and to support each other in everything and every mistake we go through. Now, have you always played the position you're in? Not really, no. What other positions did you play? I went from a left back to other. Okay, okay, okay. So that, that teammate of yours right there, she's really important. You've mm -hmm. uh, been playing in that position. Uh, so what are some of the things you, you've done in the off season to make sure you're ready for the season? I run track. Sometimes I just go to the gym because I'm bored. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I can tell you this. I don't even have to ask you what, what, how track translates over into volleyball because, you know, the speed, the endurance, and all that stuff like that. Uh, but what, with some of the younger kids coming up behind you, uh, you're a senior? Junior. Junior. Uh, you'll be a senior next season. Uh, but some of the younger kids coming up behind you, uh, what are some of the things you can tell them uh, you know, they may want to play your position. Uh, what are some of the things you will be able to tell them to be able to uh, be able to accomplish that? What I would tell them, just be self-aware. Don't get mad when you make a mistake. If a coach gives you a correction, listen to the correction. Just try your best to make it. 
go 100% every time you step in a gym. Make sure if you have to do an exhilarator, if you have to do a punishment, do it 100% so you won't have to do it again. That's pretty much all I have to do. <laughs> <laughs> like, do that. Good. So what can you say about your teammate over here? Maddie, she's very supportive. She always, always is happy for some reason. I don't understand <laughs> it. <laughs> I don't understand it I know. Um, she pushes everybody. She makes sure that if someone gets riled up, she's there to say, calm down, we're, we're gonna get it. Wow, come on, come on up, Maddie, wow. <laughs> she's smiling already. <laughs> 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 so, now how did you get in the position, uh, said I heard what your coach said, but what did you personally ha knew you had to do to accomplish that? Well, I was, this year, I knew that I was kind of going to be a right side in my head. I knew that we didn't have a very strong setting on the team, so I knew that was like a big question mark going into the season. I remember me and Kyle were talking about it before the season started. We were sitting there in class one day, and we were like, who's going to be the setter? <laughs> me and Kyle were like, what's going to happen? And I kind of said, I was like, I know I have good hands. I'm not very experienced there, but I could. If like I pushed myself to, I could. So one day we were playing Queens and then to practice, and Coach Morris was like, Maddie goes to it, and I was like, Wait a minute, okay. did you just say Queens? Queens, it's what, a game. What, what, like Queen of the Court. Oh. So, it was a game. Okay, all right, go, go ahead. <laughs> she was like, Maddie goes to it and said, and I was like, okay. So I just had to put myself in that position. I asked her the next day what I could work on to be better with that, and I just had to come every day wanting to better myself for my team. All right, so what are some of the, the goals you have uh, for yourself this season and you know for the whole team? You know, I just want to be a supportive teammate. I feel like that's what it's all about. I want to be good as a team because I know this is my last time playing volleyball. Like, I know that. So I want to be there for my teammates. And also, because I'm a setter, I want to put my teammates in the best position for us to run a good offense. Now, I, now the setter basically is the quarterback, i.e. the coach on the court. Um, and you got to put your teammates in the best position, making sure they're able to you set them up for the, for the kill, for the – like whatever you want to call it. Uh, if the coach sends in the play, you know what the play is, but you see something on the other side of the net, anytime you were able to, you had to call an audible or something like that or change the play to make sure your player, hey, you need to get here because this is about to happen. You know, something that you can call and be okay with it. Just give me an example of that. Well, I know that if our pass isn't particularly great and there's a spot open in the court, I can just like push it over the net and dump it. Oh wow! Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. um, you got a favorite TV show? I do. I also watch Stranger Things, like Coach Morrison. I watch The Office. The what? The I Office. The Office. <laughs> <laughs> the office. Okay. Um, so what? What are some of the uh, the things that uh, Coach teaches you? You know, she's got some college experience. Um, that you guys enjoy the most and what do you think you know you since she's been there short period of time she's been there what some of the things you picked up from her well I was excited when coach Morris when I learned that she was going to be the head coach because I knew that she had experience I know for a fact she knows what she's talking about and I feel like as a team we've enjoyed learning from her because we know that she knows what she's talking about and while she can we have moments in practice where she can like be around us and it be okay she's like guys y'all need to calm down y'all need to like get yourself together <laughs> and i feel like a lot of people don't understand her humor either so, so like knowing when she's being sarcastic and knowing when she's being serious that kind of picking up on those things it keeps practice interesting all right uh so who do y'all look forward to playing this season I'll afford to compete with anybody. Okay, okay, okay. So no, no, no particular team, no. No particular team. We're in a new area this year. We moved down to 6A, so we don't have like a set rival like normal. I'm just looking forward to proving ourselves as our team. Now you got a 6A area. I'm not sure what area we are, but we have Blunt, Murphy, and Sarah Lynn. Blunt, Murphy, and Sarah Lynn. So I'm not sure what you guys got Bayside on your schedule. Mm -hmm. You know they in 6A now. Uh, so if you guys move up in the playoffs, you might wind up playing Coach Ann Schiller and her, her team. But I know she's, she's in a kind of a rebuilding uh, mode, too. I heard one of the, the ball and county coaches say that. Uh, but still, we're talking about Coach Ann Schiller. Um, what can we – what kind of legacy – you're the senior – legacy do you want to leave there at Theodore High School? I want whoever comes up to think – 
Maddie did good at being their first roommate to being happy. And you know, like, I don't always, you know, when we condition it, I'm not a runner. <laughs> like, I know that. But sometimes I'm like, okay, we have to do this. I'm like, guys, come on, it's okay. One day we're running sprints. And I was like, okay, guys, we got six more to go. And they were like, Maddie, shut up. And I was like, <laughs> and I was like it's okay. So I want somebody to come back behind me and just keep up that attitude. All right, all right. Well, good luck this season, ladies and gentlemen, Coach. And uh, thank you guys for coming on here today to the media day. And hope we'll be doing this again next season. Yes, hopefully so. Thank All you so right, much. All right.